to Thursday afternoon, everyone. Looking at still some very hazy conditions outside, but the sunshine is a little bit brighter today. Looking at conditions here at Elida Road and Cable Road, things are looking good at the moment. We have temperatures near 80 degrees in most locations, 81 degrees in Ottawa, while we're 78 here in Lima, 77 in Defiance. 78 degrees in Finley with thin clouds over the area. We did see a few sprinkles earlier around 10, 11 o'clock, but again, those have fizzled out across the area and even the cloud cover is dissipating as well. We'll look at partly sunny skies as we go through the afternoon along with those hazy conditions. We do have a couple pretty potent cluster of thunderstorms to the west of us here, one over parts of Indiana and Kentucky. There is another one here over parts of Iowa, Missouri. Now pushing its way into western parts of Illinois. We have severe thunderstorm. We have tornado warnings. So this is what we call a ring of fire weather pattern. You've got this area of high pressure over the southern plains. And around this ridge, you have disturbances in the atmosphere. And that heat is fuel for these thunderstorms to feed off of. So oftentimes, these storms will track right on the edge of that heat. And that's why we're seeing today. And you can see the path of these continues to be from northwest to southeast. And that trajectory will stay west of our area through the afternoon. So the main severe risk and the concern is west of here through tonight. There is just that low end marginal risk. There could be an isolated storm this evening and tonight. And if those do develop, we could see an isolated wind gust or some hail with some of those. But that would be very few and far between. Overall, severe weather th uh, chances for us are low today. But you can see that big dome of heat that we were talking about. See the temperatures across the, uh, the southern plain states well into the 100s today. 98 Kansas City. And then you've got this uh, cooler air here as we go across Ohio with temperatures relatively cooler at least in the mid 80s but we're definitely noticing more humidity out there today so it's going to increasingly become more uncomfortable with building temperatures into the start of the weekend tomorrow we should be well into the middle and upper 80s across the area you throw in some humidity the heat index could reach as high as the lower 90s by tomorrow afternoon so it is definitely going to be feeling like the summertime across much of the country those 80s will stick around for the weekend. The 80s stick around next week. We're definitely in that summer type of weather pattern here, which the heat and humidity, that can help fuel some showers and storms. And those chances will actually pick up, especially as we go through the upcoming weekend. In the meantime, the rain chances look fairly hit and miss and more isolated in nature from now through tomorrow. So we notice this afternoon it's west of here, where a lot of that action continues to be. So around here, we stay relatively dry. You notice that south flow. And again, that's bringing in more humidity out there. I mentioned an isolated storm chance tonight. Our model showing mainly up towards the Toledo area, but we can't roll out this evening and overnight. There could be an isolated thunderstorm, but we're not expecting anything widespread. So we'll keep an eye on the radar this evening and then overnight things kind of dissipate here. Our latest forecast from model run showing a bit of a quieter trend for tomorrow. We'll call for isolated showers and storms, but a lot of Friday looks dry. I do think we'll begin to see a little bit more uptick in those chances of rain as we go through the upcoming weekend. And I could even come with an isolated severe weather threat as well. I mentioned the high humidity coming in. You're going to really start feeling it later today. And it stays very muggy through the weekend. And even into early next week, not a whole lot of improvements there. So it's definitely that time of year when we talk about a lot of heat and humidity. we will be feeling it out there the next several days. Tonight, we'll see again temperatures in the upper 60s. We'll call for isolated coverage of thunderstorms. And the same goes for tomorrow. Otherwise, tomorrow is going to be really a hot and humid day, a high temperature up to 88 degrees. This weekend, definitely dodging some scattered thunderstorms. I think Saturday is the drier of the two days as it stands now. So Saturday is pretty hit and miss thunderstorms. Sunday could be a little bit more widespread with the thunderstorm activity. And then as we go into early next week, shower and storm chances still with us on Monday. But right now, if you're taking a long weekend, Tuesday looks dry and fairly warm at temperatures in the upper 80s.